Welcome, Welcome kids, kids by the, the sea to TNT Bible story time where we have the power, power of, of the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And you do too. You've got the Spirit of Jesus in you. He, When you love Him and follow Him and trust Him, He gives you sort of like this love. It's a Jesus seed that grows in your heart with all the fruit of the Spirit. And we are excited to give a birthday shout out for our March birthdays for baby Jane and Josiah, both turning one and for our friend Brooks, who's in fifth grade this year. We miss you guys, and so we're sending you a birthday shout. <laughs> Blow out. <laughs> um, we also are going to do a really fun story today, but hmm. I noticed when we were getting ready that there's a lot of sand in the fellowship hall here at church today. It starts over by the front side door, and it comes around over to the refrigerator and then around the room and then I followed it and you know what? It comes right to where Miss Trisha is sitting. Do you know anything about that sand, Miss Trisha? Okay, well I'm really sorry, but I went to the beach. It was raining, it was beautiful out, oh, and I just pretty. headed to the beach and I forgot my shoes and I just came here. You came straight here for our video. Straight here for the yeah. video. I'm committed. Well you are, but I'm thinking maybe we should Let's get the sand okay, off Okay, fine. Of I'll show feet. you. I mean, it's oh. not that bad. Oh, yeah. It's, it's dripping off. It's not that bad. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's coming off everywhere. I just happen to have some paper towels here, but I think we should get it off so we don't have You're going to help me get this off? Yeah, I'd be happy like to help concrete. you. Well, let's see. <laughs> it sounds like sandpaper. It is really stuck on there. It's kind of like tar. Wow, you were really walking in the sand, and I think this might just have to be a good start for now. And yeah, that's we can, a little better. We can finish it later, but yeah, you're not going to believe it. What? It reminds me of today's Bible story. How? 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 I know. How do how? feet remind you of the Bible story? But yeah. they do. And today's Bible story comes from the Book of John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And John was one of Jesus' disciples who loved him very much, and he wrote down all the things that he observed when he walked with Jesus, and Jesus was his teacher. And this comes from chapter 13. I put my heart on my Bible because I love God's Word. And here's chapter 13. And it starts down at verse 3. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about this story where Jesus does something very surprising. See if you can guess what it is. Uh, this And also this happened at the last meal. It was a special supper that Jesus had with his followers. And it was actually the last meal he had before he went to the cross, before he died and he rose again. And it says, Jesus and his disciples gathered in an upstairs room to eat their Passover supper. And during the meal, Jesus washed his disciples' feet. What? I know. In those days, people's feet got really dirty walking in sandals on the dusty roads. They didn't have paved streets like we do. It was just dust, and even the animals walked on the roads. Gross. Who would want to wash somebody's stinky feet, right? Not me, but Toby washed my feet. Well, it said servants were the ones who had to wash people's feet back then, but Jesus served his disciples by doing the dirty job. He was a king and a servant, and he was saying, this is how I show love. Jesus, the creator of everything, who holds all the stars and planets and people and animals in his hands. All the elements. Yes. It said that um, he uh, washed first Peter's feet, one of his disciples, and Peter didn't want Jesus to wash his feet because he said, you're my Lord, you're my teacher, you can't wash my feet, Jesus. You're too good to wash my feet. But um, Jesus told him, he says, if you don't let me wash away the dirt, you won't belong to me. But Jesus wasn't just talking about the dirt and dust on his feet or like the sand on Miss Trisha's feet. He was talking about the dirt on our heart. And that means when we have sin, we want to go our own way, when we want to do our own thing and not follow God's loving ways and the way that he teaches us to live, that is what he was talking about, sin. And so he said this was an example. When he was washing his disciples' feet, he said it's also like washing the sin from our hearts and being a servant and showing love. Um, it says when our hearts are full of things that God doesn't like, like sin, we can't be close to him, and it's impossible for people to wash away sin by themselves. And God knew that, so he planned for Jesus to wash our sins away. Not by washing our feet, but by washing our hearts. Only Jesus could do that. 
And after Jesus washed his disciples' feet, he said to them, I did this to show you that as future servants and teachers, you should be humble and do anything God asks out of love for me. So he said, I want you to do this same thing for other people. This is how you carry my love. And it's not just washing feet. There's lots of things that we could do to serve other people. Mm -hmm. Can you think of any other things we might do? Like I had surgery and Toby picked me up from, I was going to say the airport, but from the, the hospital. hospital. Yeah. And I know that there's been times when I've gone somewhere and Miss Trisha's come over and taken care of my cats for me. Champers. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of things that we can do. Um, even things that can seem like dirty jobs. But if we are showing God's love, we want to do that to help each other. So I want to bless you guys so that you can have that same kind of heart that Jesus has. And when you do that, you show his love in this world to other people until he comes back. So we want to bless you. God, please help our children and their families to have hearts that are humble like you because your love is in them. I pray and I ask that you would give them everything that they need so that they can be servants too. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your love. We thank you that you are a servant and a king. And we pray this in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen.